Living in space, an incredible dream for many, but can traditional space station concepts truly make that dream a reality? Clearly not. If we want to push the boundaries of human spaceflight, we need bold, innovative solutions. And that's exactly where SpaceX's groundbreaking plan comes in, transforming the massive Starship into a fully functional space station. The potential behind this idea is enormous, opening up new possibilities for long-term space habitation. So, how does SpaceX plan to turn its rockets into space stations? Let's dive in on today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. The future of space stations has become an increasingly hot topic, especially as the retirement of the ISS draws closer. NASA has outlined a timeline, but as with anything in spaceflight, things can change, especially with Musk's recent proposal to accelerate deorbiting the ISS. Regardless of the timeline, ensuring a replacement is ready soon is essential to maintaining an uninterrupted U.S. presence in space. And if there's any company that refuses to sit on the sidelines, it's SpaceX. What sets SpaceX apart is not just its involvement, but its truly groundbreaking approach, an idea that is completely different from other commercial space station concepts. Instead of constructing a traditional modular station, SpaceX plans to transform its massive Starship into a fully functional space station. While some may be skeptical, there are undeniable advantages to this idea. The most obvious advantage is size. Starship is enormous. Right now, the primary living space is confined to the payload section and nose cone, about 18 meters in height. Even with just this volume, there have been ambitious proposals, including a six-floor layout where each level serves a unique function. One floor could store equipment and payloads, another could serve as a greenhouse and dining area, another for physical exercise, followed by sleeping quarters, communal areas, and control systems. This structure would allow for a fully integrated Earth-like environment for astronauts, and more impressively, it could accommodate dozens, potentially up to a hundred people, far beyond what the ISS or any other space station has ever supported. But this is only scratching the surface of what Starship could offer. Currently, most of its internal volume is dedicated to fuel tanks. If SpaceX develops a method to remove or repurpose these tanks, the living space would expand dramatically, effectively turning Starship into a massive station module. A fully converted Starship could provide up to 50 meters of living space with a 9 meter diameter, creating an interior volume of about 3,000 cubic meters, three times the volume of the ISS. That means hundreds of people could live and work in orbit, and this isn't even considering the future versions of Starship, like the proposed V3 model, which could stretch nearly 70 meters in length. Such a version could increase the total volume to around 4,400 cubic meters, further boosting capacity for crew, cargo, and onboard systems. This scale presents a massive advantage over conventional space station designs, which typically house fewer than 20 people. Not only would the Starship Station serve as a research hub, but it could also pave the way for commercial space tourism, offering a new frontier for those who dream of living among the stars. Another critical factor making Starship an ideal candidate is its material. Unlike the ISS, which relies on aluminum, Starship is made of stainless steel, a highly durable and corrosion-resistant material that can withstand harsh space conditions. This is crucial for protecting astronauts from radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and temperature extremes. Stainless steel is also relatively easy to maintain and repair, an essential feature for long-term space operations. On top of that, it's cost-effective, helping SpaceX optimize station construction without breaking the bank. Yet one of the most exciting advantages is Starship's reusability. While many associate this feature with launch economics, it has massive implications for space station operations as well. If a module encounters issues, it could be returned to Earth for refurbishment before being relaunched, something that has never been possible with traditional station modules. This capability would drastically extend the station's lifespan and reduce the risk of failure in orbit. Beyond Starship itself, the station would benefit from support across SpaceX's entire ecosystem. Super Heavy, currently the most powerful launch vehicle in the world, would handle deployment, 
Cargo resupply could be handled by Dragon capsules, while Starlink integration would enable seamless communication and research operations. In short, SpaceX wouldn't just be launching a space station, it'd be deploying an interconnected orbital infrastructure. As for construction, the process would likely follow SpaceX's standard operational strategy, launching a starship into orbit and then gradually modifying it by removing or repurposing fuel tanks to expand the living space. Another approach could involve developing a dedicated starship station variant directly on Earth, pre-configured for habitation, which would launch with minimal modifications needed once in orbit. This version might include additional thrusters, similar to Dragon's, to aid with station keeping and orbital adjustments. A single starship could function as a standalone space station, but the real potential lies in scaling up. Instead of just one module, SpaceX could assemble a vast orbital complex composed of multiple interconnected starships, perhaps up to 50 of them. These modules could be arranged in a circular formation, connected to a central hub, creating a rotating wheel-like structure. This design would generate artificial gravity through centrifugal force, addressing one of the biggest challenges of long-duration space travel, the health effects of microgravity on the human body. Despite its unprecedented scale, the estimated cost of a Starship-based space station is surprisingly low. SpaceX has already projected that Starship launches could eventually cost as little as 2 million US dollars per flight. Even if launching a full-fledged station required 50 missions, that's only around 100 million dollars in launch costs. Factoring in the construction of the modules and integrated systems, the total price tag could range from $500 million to a $1 billion, a fraction of the $150 billion spent on the ISS. SpaceX's vision for a Starship-based space station is bold, innovative, and most importantly, feasible. It represents a complete rethinking of how humans will live and work in space. With its immense capacity, robust materials, reusability, and cost-effectiveness, this concept has the potential to revolutionize space habitation, making it more accessible than ever before. What do you think? Would you want to live aboard a Starship space station? Drop a yes in the comments below, or if not, let me know what you think is a better alternative. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on SpaceX's incredible journey toward the future of space exploration. SpaceX indeed faces numerous challenges in turning Starship into a space station, and solving these will be crucial to making the project a reality. First, SpaceX must determine the best way to convert Starship into a space station module. There are two main options, launching a standard Starship and gradually removing the fuel tanks to repurpose the interior, or designing a dedicated space station module on Earth and launching it fully assembled. Both approaches come with significant challenges. If SpaceX opts to modify Starship in orbit, it'll require advanced technology, specialized robotic systems, and a well-planned logistics network to carry out the transformation safely. On the other hand, if the module is built on Earth before launch, SpaceX must develop a method to send such a massive structure into space while ensuring it remains stable in orbit until additional modules arrive. Another major challenge is assembling multiple Starship modules into a cohesive functional structure. Unlike traditional space stations where modules are built to be interconnected from the start, Starship was originally designed as a rocket, not a modular space station component. Ensuring compatibility between multiple Starship-based modules will require advanced docking and connection technology, along with precision engineering to maintain balance and stability. Powering the station is another key hurdle. A fully operational Starship-based station will require extensive energy resources. While solar panels can provide some power, the sheer size of the station and the number of systems on board may exceed what solar power alone can support. This could necessitate a backup power supply, possibly nuclear or another advanced energy system, to sustain long-term operations. Additionally, maintaining a steady supply chain for food, water, and essential cargo will be critical. 
With dozens, potentially hundreds of people on board, the station's life support and resupply requirements will be significantly greater than those of the ISS. SpaceX will need to establish a highly efficient logistics operation, potentially using Starship itself for regular resupply missions. Timing is another pressing issue. SpaceX has yet to successfully reach orbit with Starship, yet NASA has scheduled the ISS for deorbiting in 2030. However, Musk has suggested accelerating this timeline to within the next two years. If SpaceX is serious about replacing the ISS, the company must not only overcome the technical challenges of building a Starship-based station, but also launch its first module on a timeline that aligns with either NASA's plans or Musk's ambitious proposal. On the positive side, SpaceX is making steady progress toward its vision of a Starship-based space station. While Starship has yet to make a direct contribution to space station construction, its development is advancing rapidly, with key systems becoming more refined. The ascent process is being mastered, and crucial components like engines, flaps, and heat shields are stabilizing through continuous upgrades. The re-entry process is also improving with each test flight, and SpaceX has achieved a major milestone with the successful landing of the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla arms. Additionally, a critical step towards space station operations, the ability to reignite engines in space, has been successfully tested. With these advancements, SpaceX is moving toward the next phases of Starship's development, including payload deployment, ship landings with Mechazilla, and the creation of an in-space refueling system. The Starship design itself is evolving, with V2 already in development and V3 likely to follow soon, potentially offering even more capabilities suited for space station operations. Regarding the station's interior, SpaceX has provided glimpses into its vision through Starship HLS the lunar lander version. While designed for the moon, its interior concepts give an idea of what a Starship-based space station might look like, offering spacious, well-equipped living quarters and advanced onboard systems. Beyond the spacecraft itself, SpaceX is also expanding its ground infrastructure, including production, launch, and fuel supply systems, all of which will be essential for maintaining a large-scale space station. The company has even proposed ambitious launch plans, envisioning hundreds or even thousands of Starships launching annually. Moreover, SpaceX has ample time to gain valuable experience. It is actively involved in launching commercial space stations like VAST, Axiom, and Starlab, gaining insights that will inform its own station's development. Additionally, as NASA's primary commercial partner for ISS operations, SpaceX has already had the expertise to transition into managing a next-generation space station based on Starship. Despite the many challenges ahead, the Starship space station remains an exciting and ambitious project that holds immense promise for the future. It'll not only serve as a hub for research and exploration, but could also become humanity's first true home in space, a stepping stone toward expanding our civilization beyond Earth. The opportunity to live and thrive beyond our planet is closer than ever. The door to the stars is opening. Are you ready to step through? This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.